Hey coaches, Becky here. This is a quick training to show you how to capture the likes from a Facebook post uh, so that you can follow up with those people in a systematic way. Okay, so for example, whenever you post something on your Facebook, like a transformation picture, like this one, or a invitation to your challenge group, or any sort of a Beachbody related post, you wanna make sure that you have a plan and a system in place to follow up and message every single person who likes or comments on your post. The reason you wanna do this is because these people are number one, seeing your post, which is great. You want to help them continue seeing their, your posts by engaging with them. That's part of a Facebook rule. The more people engage with, with each other, the more they see each other's stuff. So you know that they saw it, so you want to acknowledge that via a message to them. Um, we'll go into that later. Two is that um, these people, they liked your post, uh, so they are supporting you. And so that's, again, another good reason to reach out to them and acknowledge them and thank them for their support. Three is that, especially on these transformation pictures, but also on your business posts or challenge group posts, People will like a post or they'll comment on a post, something supportive, but they may not put themselves out there publicly to say, hey, yeah, I'm interested. So that's really the main reason why you want to reach out to anybody who likes or comments on a business related post, um, because it gives you a chance to take that conversation into a private setting where they may feel more comfortable opening up to you directly to say, yeah, you know, I like that awesome transformation picture. Um, I just don't think I can do that myself, you know, and then, then you can get into a dialogue with them about why and how you can help. All right. So the challenge is, is that on Facebook, right, you know, going through and figuring out who liked and commented on each post is kind of a pain. There's not a good way to track it on Facebook. So this video is to instruct you on how to get those names off of Facebook and into a more manageable format so that you can follow up with those people as part of your daily power of three. All right, so let's get into the meat of this, right? So I posted this, this uh, transformation picture of our very own coach, Cynthia. Um, in this example, if I wanted to capture the likes that have been made on this picture, right? 40 people have given their support to this photo. I would come to the post on my, I would go to my main page, scroll down to the post. I see where people have liked it and you click on the, you know, whatever, 36 others. All right. That is going to give you this little pop-up window, which this is really what I mean. It's not an, a manageable format to say, okay, well, I want to message Debbie. Then I go over here, and if I click message, then it pops up another window. It's really confusing, and you can get lost pretty quickly. So what I prefer to do is I prefer to capture this whole list and put it into my Power of Three spreadsheet. So what I would do on any post, you know, this is just an example, is I would literally highlight all of these names, however many there are, 5, 10, 100, 1,000, whatever and copy them, you know, right click to copy. And then I manage my power of three in a Google spreadsheet right now. Lately for things exactly like this, where it's what I consider my leads list, meaning a lead is someone that, uh, that in some way has shown interest, but I have not had a full on conversation with yet about the topic or maybe at all. Um, and they're definitely not to the point where I've actually officially invited them to anything. So I want to keep track of them, but I don't necessarily need to keep track of a lot of details about them yet um, because we haven't gotten past that first barrier of, are you interested in learning more? So this is my Power of Three Leads spreadsheet page. Again, that's part of my, you know, my Power of Three tracker. I'm not going to go into that today. But so what I would do is I would create a tab on my spreadsheet specifically for this picture right? And I, the columns that I have uh, used that seem to work for me are lead source, meaning where it came from. So in this case, it would be like a, you know, transformation picture, the person's name, the date that I first contacted them, um, where I contacted them. So whether it's Facebook, email, or my fitness page, or in person, text message, etc. cetera. Uh, the general one word on what we discussed, in this case, it would be, um, you know, transformation photo or something like that. The date we last talked, the date we're going to follow up, what we're going to, what the next step is, and then notes. Um, this field is just ever, it's an, indicates Evernote whether or not I've taken this person from a basic lead. Uh, basically, once I'm friends with them on Facebook and or have their email address, I will create an entry in my uh, Evernote 
um, client tracker form. Separate video. All right, so back to the point here. You come to your page after copying that list, this list of names, and you just come to the name column and you literally just paste it in. And it's going to be a mess, and that's okay. So that's a mess. That's not really helpful either, right? It's better than before, but it's not all that great. So what I do is I come up here and I click on this top left box in the spreadsheet, which highlights the entire sheet. And then I go to data and I say sort range. My thing has a header, so I select sort by name and sort. Great. Now what that's done is it's grouped everything together. So I know that these are not helpful for me. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of these random rows that don't matter. Delete. And you kind of got to fish around in here a little bit for all of them. But there again, this is like a two minute exercise versus a two hour exercise to try and manage it in Facebook. Delete rows. Okay, great. So let's say that that post had really run its course, which this one, you know, has not yet because it's only been posted an hour. But let's say that this was, you know, the max likes that you were, you know, expecting to get on it. You know, so you've got your list of people in here. I would just say, you know, trans picture, trans Tuesday picture, right? Copy all the down there. Um, and then basically I would just go through this list and systematically reach out to everyone. Um, you do have to, I do recommend, you know, weeding out the people who are coaches so that you're not sending coaches messages. It's not really a good use of your time. In this case, on this particular post, a lot of these are coaches because um, I tagged a bunch of coaches in it. But, um, but for, you know, like a business post, like, you know, you're looking for people to join your team or you're looking for people who want to get fit. This list is going to be invaluable. And then what you do for your, you know, you sit down ready to do your power of three each day as you come here and say, okay, I haven't talked to these three people yet. So you pick those three, you know, you type in today's date, um, fill in, you know, this was, this was on your personal, the post was made on your personal Facebook page, um, Transformation Tuesday, uh, last contact was today, next follow-up is in two days, right? Come up with any reason to, con to follow up with people two days later. The next step, let's say, is to invite to the challenge group. And then in the notes, I would say, you know, sometimes I say things like, you know, what time of day I send it at because um, I send messages at all funky hours, whether it's early morning or late night. So like if I send it at, you know, 5 a.m. on the 28th, I wouldn't want to follow up at, um, you know, 5 a.m. the next day. They might not have even had time to read it. But or you could say, you know, I don't know, any, any sort of note that you want to note down, just little notes to keep you on track for what you should talk to them about next. But just go through as many of these as possible. And this type of scenario is where using a script really is handy, right? Because you're kind of going to say the same thing to everybody. So let's say I was reaching out to Amanda. I would, you know, come back over to Facebook. I would, um, you know, if I knew her, let's say, let's say I'm talking to Nancy, right? I would click on her name. I would click message. It pops up a thing, right? And I could just type the, type the same message or type in a script to her. Uh, so like in this case, you might say something like, Hey, I saw that you liked my, um, the picture I posted of my friend who got amazing results in our challenge group. Isn't she incredible? Um, it's so exciting to, to have this be my job. I can't, you know, I can't believe this is real life. Um, you can, I wouldn't recommend leaving it there, but then you can put any sort of an ask at the end An ask meaning a question. So you could say like, how are you? What have you been up to? Or, um, you know, my next group is starting in like three days. Uh, any chance you, you or anybody you know might be interested in joining us? Um, things like that. You always, always, always want to end every interaction with a question, no matter what it is, whether it's speech body related or personal related. You just want to continue to show interest. So this is a random video, kind of long, but whatever. Hopefully it's helpful to show you, number one, how to take, how to capture likes and or comments. You can do the exact same thing we just showed you uh, with comments by copying and pasting. Copy and paste the names from your Facebook posts into a spreadsheet, clean them up, and then use this as your tracker for how to follow up. The last thing I'm going to mention before we close this out is like, I'll give you an example over here on my master lead list. 
So when I get ready to go follow up with people, what I do is I will filter these columns by whatever I want to know. So if I'm trying to follow up with everybody about my challenge, I filter it by challenge. Or if I'm trying to follow up with um, everybody that I have, you know, that's due to follow up with today, I would pick today's date and follow up with those people. And it just helps you be more efficient on knowing who you need to reach out to next so that you can quickly power through your power of three and get on with your life. Okay? I hope that helps you guys. If you have any questions, just reach out to me and let me know.